The simplest alkane with a carbon-carbon bond is known as ethane. And we can think of ethane as two methyl groups connected to one another. Carbon-carbon single bonds can rotate around each other, and this allows for different um, orientations of the molecule, which are known as conformers. So conformers are the result of rotation around a single bond. So let's look at two important conformers of ethane. And we'll look at the top one first, known as the eclipse conformation. We have a ball and stick model, and next to it we have the wedge and dash structure. If we look at the ball and stick model, and imagine this ball and stick model kind of sitting on a tabletop, we notice that each carbon has two hydrogen feet, if you will. So here's our carbon and the wedge. This hydrogen is coming out. This hydrogen is behind um, the plane of the screen, this hydrogen is coming towards us, and this hydrogen is going behind us. And then each carbon has one hydrogen sort of above, which is in the plane of the screen. So if we look at this conformation with this eyeball down the carbon-carbon bond, we see that the hydrogens are very close to one another. This is known as the eclipse. I've probably said that already. Now let's look at the opposite of this conformation known as the staggered conformation, where we take one of the methyl groups and twist it. So um, in our wedge and dash uh, example illustration here, the carbon on the left actually refers to the ball and stick carbon on the right. So let's look at that first. This carbon has um, a hydrogen bond in the plane or above that carbon. We see that right here, that carbon-hydrogen bond, and then two feet holding that carbon um, on the table, if you will. So one hydrogen coming towards us, one hydrogen behind us. The other carbon is the opposite. Um, it has the two feet up in the air, so one hydrogen coming towards us, one hydrogen behind the plane, and then a carbon-hydrogen in the plane below it. So if we were to look along the carbon-carbon bond for the staggered conformation, the hydrogens are spread apart. And if we think about how electron pairs want to repel one another, then the staggered conformation is going to be much more stable because the hydrogens are farther apart. So when we draw wedge and dash structures of alkanes, we always want to keep in mind that the staggered conformation is going to be the most stable, meaning that the carbon-hydrogen the carbon -hydrogen bonds want to be as far apart from one another um, when the carbons are adjacent to one another. So if we see propane here with three carbons, um, this carbon on the far right has one hydrogen in the plane of the paper kind of up, and then this next carbon here is not going to have hydrogen in the plane, because that would be too close to this. It has one coming towards us and one behind us. And then this carbon here on the far left is not going to have two carbons on top coming towards us and behind us, just like this carbon. It's going to have one in the plane going on to the top, and then um, one coming towards us and one coming behind us. So carbons that are adjacent to one another orient their hydrogen bonds to be as far apart as possible.